The Samsung Galaxy A3 is a handset for those after a compact phone, one on an affordable contract, or a device that can be bought SIM-free without the anxiety-inducing cost. Compare the price against the specs featured, however, and the A3 doesn't offer the greatest deal around. But alongside the entry-level additions, there are enough high-end features to trick you into believing for much of the time that you have in your hand a device that's almost as fancy as the Samsung Galaxy S7. Design This device is composed of glass and metal, with barely any plastic on show at all. It looks very much like the Samsung Galaxy S7's smaller sibling, even though the devices sit in different ranges. The most obvious thing to set them apart in this finish, where the Galaxy S7's colors tend to look shiny or metallic behind the glass top layer, the A3's are plain. Samsung hasn't skimped on the glass, either. The front and back are big brand Gorilla Glass 4, and the rear features curved edges for a softer feel. It's been a while since I've used the phone as compact as the 4.7-inch screened A3, but handling it was second nature. Picking up a friend's iPhone 7 a few days into testing the A3, Apple's handset felt big and awkward. As is the case with the majority of new handsets, the Samsung Galaxy A3 has a USB Type-C charging port rather than micro USB. Storage is a reminder that you're not using a high-end phone. Display The Samsung Galaxy A3's screen is where high-end and low-end parts of the hardware collide. It's a 4.7-inch Super AMOLED panel with punchy colors that can be calibrated to suit your taste. However, if you go looking for the effects of the limited 720p screen resolution, you're certain to find them. While this isn't a bad resolution for a small display, Samsung's OLED screens tend to look a little fuzzy, unless they have a high pixel density. Performance Samsung's interface doesn't feel as fast as vanilla Android, but the Galaxy A3 in particular doesn't feel slowed down by the relatively low-end hardware at its core. The phone has an Exynos 7870, a CPU with 8 Cortex-A53 cores clocked at up to 1.6 GHz, and a Mali-T830 GPU. Software the Galaxy A3 runs Android 6.0.1 at launch, and has Samsung's familiar interface wallpapered on top. Given the Galaxy S7 has already been updated to Android 7.0 in some territories, it's a shame the A3 doesn't benefit from it too. Advanced notifications are the main difference between the two versions, Android 7.0's display more information and let you reply to messages direct from the notifications bar, for instance. Camera The Samsung Galaxy A3 has a 13-megapixel rear camera with an f-1.9 lens. Images captured are fairly detailed, Samsung's processing isn't particularly obvious and the camera is fun to use. There's minimal shutter lag, so you won't often lose a shot because the A3 simply wasn't fast enough. Battery The 2350mAh battery is well suited to the Samsung Galaxy A3's small screen, and when used in a way that exploits this, the Galaxy A3 lasts for some time. An hour of Netflix consumes just 5% of the battery, for example, a result so good I have to wonder whether the phone occasionally uses some non-linear battery reporting tricks. And the last is verdict. The Samsung Galaxy A3 is a nice phone. All that glass and metal is likely to convince many that it's worth the high asking price. If all you want is an unobtrusive, well-made handset then the Galaxy A3 is a safe bet. One of the best small phones on the market, although not a leader for value.